personality of Croatia has been tempered through centuries of outside influence. It is a country that has been ruled by the Austrians, occupied by the Germans, overrun by the Italians, settled by the Greeks, and modernized by the Romans. And throughout each incursion, the independent and proud Croats would fiercely maintain their heritage. Following the influence of each culture that set foot in Croatia, every region has its own flavor. Inland, the capital of Zagreb, with its Gothic cathedrals and large plazas, shows off its Eastern European heritage. Hearty, meaty stews served with potato gnocchi are the typical fare. Plates of breads, meats, and cheeses are omnipresent in this part of the country. To the northeast, the beautiful Istrian peninsula is minutes away from Italy. The Romans ruled here for centuries. In fact, the largest Colosseum in the world outside of Italy is here. It's here that gladiators not only fought each other, but bears and fierce cats to the death. Cafe goers in seaside towns like Rovine dine al fresco on classic Italian pizza. And down the coast, where tall fishing boats seem to outnumber cars and hundreds-year-old wineries produce world-renowned whites, whole fresh fish is prepared simply over a hot grill with just the most basic herbs. For tonight's meal, we'll start inland with some crusty bread, creamy cheese, and olive oil for dipping. For a simple main dish with a southern Croatian flavor, begin with a healthy portion of fresh tuna and lightly coat with olive oil and salt. Let that sit for a half hour while you mix up fresh garlic, parsley, oregano, lemon and salt. We'll go ahead and boil some gnocchi for a little northern Croatian side dish. Get the grill super hot and sear the fish for no more than 50 seconds each side. In our house, overcooking tuna is a punishable offense. When that's ready, simply spoon your olive oil mixture over the top of the fish. In southern Croatia, they believe that if you start with fresh ingredients, you don't need much to make it great. Just a hot grill and a chilled glass.